My name is Bill Wright, and I am a professor in biological sciences at Chapman University. My research is centered on behavior. Animal behavior I find infinitely interesting. My students and I go about asking questions about, for example, territoriality. What does it mean to be territorial and aggressive, and what does it mean to decide to fight or flee? And we're using a species that's completely different from us, and, and in fact, completely different from vertebrates even. It's a, a limpet, it's a snail. When the tide is high, we say, all right, who wants to go limpet wrestling? And the brave students go out there, and sometimes at 2 in the morning, it's cold, and it's really hard work. Limpets are infamously tenacious. It takes so much force to pull a limpet off the rock. You can't do it. And they live and grow by grazing the algae. Well, there's one species that actually excludes all other individuals from a little piece of rock about sort of a dinner setting size. And anybody that comes in there, it pushes them off. Uh, look at, now he's pushing. Look at, look at. We take a limpet from somewhere else and we use him as a bait to get this other limpet wanting to defend its territory. If you have a territory, you can produce 500 times more eggs than if you don't have one. It's just a huge benefit that you get. And the implication of that is that chasing after or running away is a choice to take a risk because you're much more vulnerable to being removed from the rock by a wave or predators that are very likely to eat you. So what we're challenging ourselves to do is to set up situations where we can actually record and document the removal of these guys either by the waves or by the territorial efforts. Our hope is to to be able to get insights about the evolution of territorial behavior that would then apply to everybody, including us. How do I recruit students? How do students recruit me? I mean, usually a student's taking a class and then they come in and ask questions about the class and then the conversation turns to research and they start asking good questions. When they start asking good questions, then I go, you know, maybe you should think about being in the lab. The student makes huge strides when they come in the lab. They really become a scientist because they're coming in every day trying to figure out nature. You need to really test the ideas that you think are happening, and you have to do that rigorously and over and over again. Yeah, but that understanding that you get when you see a limpet push like crazy on another limpet is enough to get you excited. <laughs> and I think that's really what science is about, that privilege of being the first one to ever observe something. That's what I'm doing science for, and I think that's what my students are there for, too.